team in Florida. Just what are your thoughts on, on the game? And obviously Kyle Trask kind of was able to exploit some things that uh, uh, on the offensive side of the ball for them tonight. Yeah, um, first off, just that's a good team. Um, they're, they're better than us. Um, they're a couple plays better than us, I would say. Uh, yeah, Kyle Trask kind of, um, he did he did what, exactly what he wanted to do, but thing is, is we let him do it. We, we had mistakes on our end, um, and we're going to get that right coming up this week, but hats off to Florida. They're a good team. They're top five for a reason. Um, anyone out there watching the game could notice that and could tell that. Um, they're a good, well-rounded team. They're coached well. They play hard, um, so we got to be able to get better and be able to uh, close the gap on all the um, plays from how much better they are than us, but we're going to close the gap and we're going to focus on that starting tomorrow. Touch. Yeah, Grant, what, how, how, what's your confidence level like knowing that y'all are going to be able to bounce back? This is the first time y'all have given up that many points in a long time. What, what's your confidence level you'll be able to bounce back next week? I'm very confident. Um, confidence is not a weakness for me. Uh, I'm a very confident person. I know what we're capable of doing. And I think everyone in this room and everyone in this building knows what we're capable of doing. I don't think confidence is something that we're going to be lacking. Um, it's just a bad game. Everybody has bumps in the roads. Uh, we can't let this affect another game. We can't let this drive into the next game. Uh, so we got to be able to go and take this to a whole nother level and just be able to show what our weaknesses were and be able to change them and get them better and be able to use them for our strength. So, um, DB's been playing great this year. Um, everyone knows that. Everyone's, they've been playing really good. Our defense has played really well. Um, we had a bad game. We, um, we, we just got to get better at those things, and confidence should, is not going to be a problem for us. Bob. Grant, I, 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 obviously I know you're focused on defense, but I was wondering what you thought of Felipe's playing, especially how he handled all the pressure and attention about coming back and playing at Florida. Yeah, um, Felipe handles his business at a really high level. Um, you wouldn't know that he was from Florida besides everyone telling him that, hey, man, we're going to go play Florida. He handles his business just like he does every single week. Um, this is a big time game, especially for him, but he, he prepares every single week the same. He works his butt off. Um, he tries to do everything the best that he can. He leads really good. Uh, me and him have taken a really big leadership role on this team, and we just continue to really dive into the players and try to make this a player led team. Um, but he, he really did a good job tonight. Uh, I wish we could have helped him more um, on the defensive side of the ball. But he, he's just – he's one of a kind. Uh, he leads really well, plays really – like with a lot of heart, plays with a lot of passion. So um, I hated that we couldn't get it done for him tonight. But um, we definitely have a lot. We have three more games to be able to focus on and be able to go out on top. Let me know if you've got questions in the chat. Nikki. Grant, what was it like for y'all to have Coach Odom down on the field with you instead of up in the box? And then, you know, what was it like without Coach Pittman with you? Yeah, um, so kid, Coach Pittman not being there all week, like it definitely, we can't say like it didn't affect us, but it was definitely something that we had to change and be able to adapt to. Uh, we had to have players step up and be able to lead. Uh, we had to just have people just go out of their norm of just talking a little bit more. And that's what we did. We had a really good week of practice. Uh, we were really excited coming in. Uh, Coach Odom being on the ground or being on the field, um, it was it was different just because I know how passionate the guy is and I know he's just a really good coach. And I, it, it was back to where he was a head coach at Missouri. And um, I liked it. I liked him being down there. Um, I know it's just different for everybody, but I like being able to talk to him and listen to what he's thinking, uh, listen to what he's thinking on different plays. Like when we let it up or let up a, um, one of the deep balls, he came over to me in Catalan and just told us his reasoning behind what he thinks we're going to do to be able to do it, go from there. And um, I like that because I can't hear it uh, when he's up in the box, but um, it's definitely a difference. Um, we can tell just by who's talking and what we've had to do throughout this week, but um, either way, we should we should be able to continue to do what's best for us and go from there. Last one, Bob. Um, Grant, uh, Trask, he's thrown at least four touchdown passes in every game this year. I think he's first SC quarterback to ever do that. So, it's, you know, he's been doing this to everybody all year pretty much. Well, what do you think is making him so good? Well, what really impresses you about him? Um, he, he is really good with his eyes. Um, I, I know a lot of the other quarterbacks we've played, they say, but well, we read the quarterback's eyes really well. And he really looked us off a lot, um, even in man coverage. Like when he would see that we were in man coverage, he – 
he knew that he was looking off a high safety or he was looking off another linebacker that was floating in the low hole. And um, I think what really makes him good is his receivers around him too. Like he's a great quarterback. I'm not knocking him at all. The guy is, the guy is a Heisman candidate for a reason. But his receivers and tight ends are just studs. Like they go out and they go and catch every single ball. Um, their alignment are good. Um, it's a good offense. They've done that to every single team for a reason. Um, that's no excuse for us that they've done it to everybody else. But um, we got to give their hats off to them. I uh, hope, hope them all the best the rest of the year. Um, but we got to be able to fix what they exploited today and uh, go on from there. Thanks, Grant. Thank you all.